Patience. Patience. Is it just me, or does patience seem to be a thing of the past? And what is patience anyway? One dictionary describes patience as the ability to accept delay, suffering or annoyance without complaining or becoming angry. The origins of the word lead us to the ability to endure misfortune in a calm way. Patience comes from the Latin patientia, indicating submission as well as humility. One of the reasons I believe the older generations seem more patient to me has to do with a connection to nature that is lost to younger people. If you're in touch with nature, you recognize that for everything there is a season. You can't rush a tree or a flower. You can't force grass to grow faster. All you can do is accept that certain things take time. If you pick a fruit before it's ripe, it's unpleasant to eat. If you take a pie out of the oven too early, it's underbaked. It will uh, not taste great. The question is, how comfortable are you and I with delayed gratification? It's certainly not a skill that is taught in schools. Education itself requires a lot of patience in the age of I want it and I want it now. That's because we're so easily distracted. Of course, attention span differs per age, but one study of 2,600 children found that early exposure to television around age two is associated with later attention problems such as inattention, impulsiveness, disorganization and distractibility at age seven. Add to that the addiction to cell phones and social media later in life, and it's so easy to see why patience is no longer popular. As a voiceover coach, I deal with this quite often. I have to explain that it may take years for someone to become good at talking into a microphone and making it sound natural and semi-spontaneous. I'm still learning. Someone said, well, then you're probably not a good coach. As if I have a magic wand that makes people an in-demand talent overnight. Even though we know that overnight success takes many years to achieve, it's a hard lesson to learn. I think it takes a certain level of maturity and humility to accept that if you want to become good at something, you need to be persistent and patient. We all know what happens to a souffle when you take it out of the oven too soon, right? See you next time. Wait for that patiently, please.